So in a previous video, we have talked about how if you know of some amount that you're getting t years out into the future, uh, if you are interested in determining its present value, you can basically use this formula, future value, whatever it is that you're getting t years out divided by 1 plus r raised to the power t. Now, uh, this expression can be rewritten in this form where you're separating out this 1 over 1 plus r raised to the power t component, right? It's basically the same expression. Now, this this part, this, this uh, latter part of this equation, this sometimes is known as the present value interest factor. I have, uh, so present value interest factor. And I have these subscripts R and T over here, which basically are here to suggest that for known values of R, our discount rate, and for known values of T, uh, we can get a numerical value for this number. This, so in other words, this expression is purely a function of R and T. If you had R, if you had T, you'd know what this expression is. Uh, the question is, what is this expression capturing? Well, this really represents the present value of one dollar that we are receiving t years from today when our discount rate is r percent. And so, what I mean by that is that if you uh, have uh, your timeline here, and let's suppose that we are arbitrarily going t years out into the future, right? So, if this is today. This is one year from now, two years from now, and let's suppose we're going two years out into the future. So if we knew that we were getting one dollar t years from now, if the if we were interested in finding out, you know, how much is that worth to us today? Well, that is one over one plus r raised to the power t, uh, and so. Uh, and in other words, that is our present value interest factor. And so our present value for any amount that we are getting t years out into the future, so let's suppose this is you know 500 or whatever it's like. So if instead of uh, one dollar um, being received t years into the future, if we were getting 500 dollars, uh, t years out into the future, we could simply take that number and then multiply it by present value interest factor, right? So the idea here is simply this. If we know how much $1 t years out into the future is worth to us today, then for something like 500, all we have to do is take that 500 and multiply it by that factor. Uh, and so oftentimes in your textbooks, you will see a table like this. This is called a present value interest factor table or um, something present value tables. And what this really shows you is that for known values of R, uh, known values of R and known values of T, um, what would be the worth of one dollar to you today? So for example, if, uh, if, uh, if we were receiving one dollar five years from now, and if the interest rate or the discount rate were 5%, uh, then this expression right here is saying that that $1 today is only worth $0.7835 uh, to us today. Um, and so let me try and illustrate how we can use these tables to uh, do any, any sort of computation, right? So let's take a look at this example. Uh, we have talked about this example before. So let's suppose that you will receive $10,000 three years from today if the banks are paying an annual interest rate of 5%. How much is this $10,000 worth to you today? Uh, the way this timeline is looking is basically you're saying that if this is today, this is one year from now, two and three. And then three years from now, you are receiving $10,000. If you wanted to find out the present value of this 10,000, the formulaic way of doing this would be to say present value is uh, 10,000 uh, divided by 1.05 raised to the power uh, three. This would be the formula, formula, formulaic approach to this problem. You would get eight thousand six hundred and thirty-eight point three seven. So this is one way of doing it. The other way of doing it would be to say, hey, you know what? Let me first go and take a look at what the present value of one dollar will be 
if I were receiving just one dollar three years out, right? So three years from today at an interest rate of or the discount rate of five percent. So I go along this and I say, you know what, that one dollar uh, would be worth 0 0.8638. And so then you say, look, the present value then of 10,000 uh, is simply 10,000. And I just multiply that by 0 0.8638 which uh, actually will give you exactly 8,638. Um, of course, there's this, this uh, if, if you had, instead of four decimal places, if you had, if you had six, uh, then you would get exactly 8,638.37. And so this is how we can use present value interest factor or present value tables um, in order to determine the present value of any amount that we're getting years out into the future when for a known uh, interest rate.